Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is FPS Champ with another Black Ops 2 video for you today. And I'm starting off with the MSMC on Slum's headquarters. I will be switching later to the Scorpion Evo. A very interesting class setup and probably now my one of my favorite classes in Black Ops 2. Um, this is a mercenary mosh pit game. I kinda they kinda threw me in like twenty seconds late. But uh regardless I had it did a fairly Fairly good game, twenty eight and seven. Not a great game, but you know, for the class I was using, I thought I did fairly well. Uh, I didn't play the objective too much. I was kind of just, I guess you can consider it kill horny. But right here, I'm using the Scorpion Evo with the MMS millimeter scanner, a smoke grenade. <coughs> well, I'm using Scorpion Evo with a MMS uh, extended clip. Because the Scorpion Evo's rate of fire is really fast and you really want that extended clip to, you know, not blow through your ammo so fast. And then I have a B23R with attack knife as my secondary, lightweight toughness and dead silence as my perks. This is usually my search and destroy class. And then a smoke grenade so I can see through, uh, so I can use that to, like, you know, throw the enemies off and I can see through with my MMS. And then a Semtex so, you know, just toss it towards the objective, as in, like, search and destroy. But right here, I get, like, a three-kill streak. Get him, get him. That's two, two right there. I see another guy in the corner. No one notices him. I bust around the corner, take him out. And I'm running low-kill streaks again. UAV, 100-kill drone, and sentry gun. So, anyways, uh, what do I want to talk to you about today? Um, how about I talk to you a little bit about... What do you want to see from me? Uh... You know, I still play Modern Warfare 3 here and there whenever you get bored of Black Ops 2. It's still fun to me. Get Moab still, whatever. And uh, I still play, get some COD 4 in. I get MW2, Black Ops Zombies. You know, just kind of, you know, different, you know, here and there. Um, but what do you want to see from me? You know, I'll throw in some blasts from the past. You know, I have tons and tons and tons and tons of gameplay on Modern I'm Modern Warfare 3. And that was a great play by me right there. That was beautiful. But I have thousands of gameplays on Modern Warfare 3 that I have saved up for uh, whenever I was going to start uploading. I have millions of Moab, I have about 15 Moab, 17, 20 that are saved. And then uh, just some other random gameplays. But, I mean, if that's what you guys want to see, uh, put out some Modern Warfare 3 for you. Um, if you guys are some Modern Warfare 3 fans. I'll let you put on some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, and I'll let, let you guys enjoy that for all you Modern Warfare 3 fans. COD 4, if you guys want to see that, I'll do that for you as well. Um, Black Ops, I'll do that for you. Zombies, whatever. I mean, whatever you guys want to see, I'll give that to you. And that's not a problem with me, as we're waiting for the headquarters to slowly be destroyed. But, anyways, yeah, I mean, I'll do anything you guys want me to do for you. I mean, I want to be successful... Like I said, I mean, like I was saying in my last video, you know, there's a difference between confidence and cockiness. And confidence is saying, you know, oh, I want to get there, I will get there. But, you know, pointing out your flaws and how it's going to be tough for you to get there. Like, you know, I still have a ways to go. I still got to get likes. I got to get favorites. I got to, you know, get noticed out there. And look at that, man. Just, this thing just goes ham. Another one right there. Just another one gone. Another one gone. There's a host migration later on in this match, but... Uh, it's not too big of a deal, I'll just switch video clips for you, but anyways, um, what was I talking about, I was talking about how, you know, ah, uh, lost my train of thought, well that sucks, but anyways, um, kill streaks. why do I run low kill streaks? why, um, high kill streaks. you know, if you start using high kill streaks, you start, you know, once you get like a one swarm, once you get your first swarm, uh, in a while, you will then start to, you know, keep going for that. And if you fail getting there, even if you're just going for a VSAT, you will start raging. I am someone who used to rage all the time. I would, like, you know, get so pissed off. But, you know, because I kept going for high kill streaks and it wasn't, it wasn't necessary. Because, you know, I'd go for high kill streaks and I'd play the objective and then we'd lose and I'd blame it on my teammates. And you can't really do that. But I run low kill streaks, so, you know, like a UAV, 100 kilo drone, sentry gun. So I can just cycle through, and a 100 kilo drone helps me out, gives me a kill. It's lethal. 
UAV to help out my team, you know, which is, gives me that team player aspect. And then a sentry gun that also helps my team, but is also lethal for me. Gets me more kills. <coughs> That's why I usually run this setup, or I usually put on a lightning strike or a hellstorm missile. Uh, throw in a VSAT here or there. But here is where the host migration started. Sorry for that, but we'll get right into the next clip for you. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize that um, the host migration occurred. I'm really sorry about that. But anyways, getting right back in here, uh, right where we left off anyways. So anyways, back to what I was saying, uh, low kill streaks, you know, helps out my team. Such a gun's lethal, uh, gets me kills, helps out my team as well. Man, man just look at that thing. The thing goes crazy. But anyways, um, you know, it really helps out my team. This guy's a sentry gun. He's also capturing, you know, if enemies run in, it'll be able to take him out and get him kills, build up his streak. That guy's terrible. But, I mean, I just, that's what I like to do. I like to run low kill streaks. You know, it doesn't give me so many kills. By the way, I've never gotten a 100 plus. I don't know, I think most out there. Sorry. But I've never gotten a 100 plus ever in any Call of Duty. I've come so close. I'm all for three. Uh, it was the worst day of my life. But anyways, um, you know, I, it just, you know, it gives me enough kills. You know, it makes me happy to, you know, be happy with a... 45 and 7 and I'm happy with a 33 and 2 I'm happy with that type of stuff even if I get you know a low amount of uh, kills but then again if I get a low amount of deaths for not trying so hard to get uh, all those kill streaks then I'm all right I mean I'm fine with that so you know that's why I usually run low kill streaks I have a lethal that helps just me out and I also have a lethal that helps both teams out but anyways uh yeah I mean uh, what game mode specifically, you know, I'll throw out some game modes. Uh, capture the flag, fun as hell. Oh my gosh, I'm so competitive with that. Capture the flag, really fun game type. Love it. If you've never tried it, you really gotta try it. I mean, it's the most underrated game mode in Call of Duty today. It's really fun, real intense. You really get into it. I remember for a long time, oh, capture the flag sucks. It's the worst game mode ever. I'm never gonna play this. And then, I'm on for 3. I really got into it because I started watching... Optic Gaming, and I was like, man, this is really intense, I really like it. But yeah, you know, I'll throw in some Capture the Flag gameplays for you, Hardpoint, Multi-Team, Team Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Demolition mostly. Demolition is my favorite game mode because, you know, I can just go ham, and you guys will see. I mean, you can spawn trap solo. I mean, I don't really want to throw out spawn trapping gameplays, but you see big YouTubers do it today, like Jay Nasty and all these other players. I don't know how that guy didn't see me, but... Yeah, I mean, I'll just throw some demolition in here or there. Whatever you guys want to see, I will do for you. Um, but I guess I can start talking about the Scorpion. Uh, Scorpion, great weapon. Uh, last, some machine gun you open, unless you're on Xbox and you have the Peacekeeper already. But um, this is a great class setup. <coughs> great overall class setup. I mean, you can use it for search and destroy. It's like an anti-camping tool. But then again, the MMS, you can use it to your advantage as well as a camping tool. Uh, let's see, for example, you could be on Demolition, and you can just ADS so hard on one of the flags. Oh, no, wait, we're using Destroy as an example. You could ADS so hard at the A-bomb. Go prone, sit behind the wall, and whether or not they have cold-blooded, you will be able to see them plant the bomb because they'll be stationary. And the white marks will outline their body. So, MMS is an anti-camping tool and a camping tool at the same exact time. Uh, I really like it because, you know, for game modes like Hardpoint, Headquarters, uh, Search and Destroy, Demolition, it's really, really, really uh, a really great attachment because if someone's camping in the bomb site or wherever, you know, the bomb is, you'll be able to ADS and if they're sitting, standing still, you'll be able to see them in a corner, it'll outline their entire body, jump in jump prone, dolphin dive, do whatever you have to do, 360 no scope, into that building and take them out. And they'll be like, oh, how did you see that? How did you know I was there? Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a really great attachment. Uh, it's You can use it to your advantage. And then again, it could be your downfall. The people calling you camper and it could really ruin your gameplays. But I'm, usually, I'm rushing with it right here. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm just looking for kills everywhere. People don't join till late, and we won this game 250 to 35. I mean, this is 
blow out. I mean, look at that guy. How did he miss me? But, <coughs> but anyways, uh, we're doing the link down here to our last couple seconds. But this is FPS Champ. I want you to like the video, favorite the video, do whatever you can to help me as a YouTuber grow in the community. I hope you enjoyed this 28 and 7 gameplay from me. Um, I could have done better if I just rushed a little bit more. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of the day, great rest of the night, however you want to look at things or wherever the hell you live. Uh, so FPS Champ, peace elates.